All right, in this video here, I want to talk about uh, creating a retargeting custom audience for your campaign. So inside advanced settings, there's this new awesome feature uh, that Teespring has integrated called retargeting pixel. Click that. And what you can do here is you can actually create a custom audience. And then you can put your tracking pixel in here. And so basically what that means is we can create every time when we're sending traffic to our um, fan, so not fan page, when we're, when we're sending traffic to our campaign page, and when I say campaign page, what I'm talking about is our actual t-shirt page, this one here. So when we're sending traffic to our page to get sales, what Teespring is doing is they will display a special code within this page. And what that code is doing is when that person comes here, they will be added to a special custom audience. And it's a custom audience that you define within your Facebook account. And then you can use that custom audience in another ad. So it's like this. You're buying a bunch of traffic. You know what? I think I should do this old school. Let's do something here to make this clear. Let's use a pen. <laughs> the pen tool. So you have your your Teespring shirt here and then you create your ads at Facebook here right so you have a whole bunch of ads set up and you're sending all that traffic to your page okay but on behind the scenes we're gonna create a custom audience within our Facebook account so we'll just call this a custom audience at CA all right, and every time a person comes to this page, every single visitor that comes here, as soon as they hit the page, they will also be put to a custom audience. So if I buy, let's say, 5,000 clicks from Facebook, when they hit that page, all 5,000 of those people will also go into this custom audience, okay? Now, what you can do later on is create another ad targeted towards this custom audience. And you're probably thinking why on earth would I want to market to these people and I already did and they didn't buy my shirt. That's because people need to see things more than once in order to make a decision to buy and this really dramatically increases your conversions because when you're sending more traffic to this custom audience in your ad you can customize it to that. For example um, you can do something like um, You know, like we saw you come to our page. Please come back and get the shirt, or, or uh, did you buy our shirt? You know, like talk to them like they've already been there before, because they obviously have already been to your page. So, you can really harness more sales by doing that. So let's go ahead and set up that custom audience. So within your Facebook account, go ahead and click on audiences here. Then I'm going to create. I'm. Um, you can actually see here. This is a. Um, a custom audience that goes to our uh, one of our websites blue page and we've already built up over 12,000 people on that and I have an ad running all the time to those 12,000 people to make them come back to our site to buy again it's very powerful sort of the same thing we're doing here so create audience and you want to create data file custom audience oh sorry no down here <laughs> custom audience from your website Let's make a description. Let's call it um, Teespring and call it um, this one will be the drop gear. Kind of lost my thought there for a second. And we'll just do it for 30 days, it's fine. and you want to make sure that you select um, all website visitors and you can set the 30 days right here and just click create click OK and then we want to go edit here and we want to grab our pixel and the little piece of code that we're looking for is this number right here so I'm just we gotta right click copy I should probably make another tool for my software to, to deal with this <laughs> I don't have it built in there but maybe I will paste in here and we need this number right here 
beside the add pixel ID. So let's right click, copy that number, and go back over to our Teespring and we'll enter it right here. Right click and paste. You can see they give you the details right here. You want to get the pixel ID value. Update. Now every single person that goes to my page will be added to that custom audience that will be saved here and then I can create another ad for that custom audience to bring those customers back again to my page because they already showed interest in clicking on my link and going to my page and looking at my shirt so I want to try and catch their interest again and bring them back and I find that the conversions like the click-through rates in the cost for these retargeting campaigns are actually a lot less than the main ones so you're not going to lose a lot of money even if they don't work sort of thing so that's how you set up the retargeting custom audience